Hi everyone and welcome to today's card creation for a Father's Day card. So I have created this fun card which you'll absolutely love. I love window cards, um, especially for dads. I think it's fun. So this is one I've made and then I'm going to make another one in more um, a probably cooler tones again, similar color scheme um, and using this tailored impression expressions um, favorite dad stamp. And then also, which I bring into view later, um, the memory box mustache or mustache. I don't know how you say it, <laughs> but I'll have fun and you can make fun of me along the way. Um, so what we'll be making is this um, shaker card. We're using lawn fawn rectangle, small rectangle um, die set. Um, we'll be starting with the smallest um, die rectangle. And now that's the top folding front um, white cardstock. Now I'll only be cutting the top of that only and then also um, I might as well cut the paper at the same time from Avery L and that way when I measure it I know exactly where it's going to be. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and cut the front panel off and I'll tape that through and then what at the same time for the inner to make sure it all lines up and it's not wonky I will tape that down to the front as well as the top so it will cut through the paper and the cardstock and that's just through the on the top panel only so that was the tip for me to make sure it all lines up and so taping it into place so it wouldn't move so I knew that um, it was you know, the paper was going to be center and we're exactly where I needed it to be. I did it the other way around um, where I cut one, you know, the cardstock um, layer first and then the paper and it just, it didn't work for me. So if I did it this way, I, I had a successful run. So what I want to do is uh, create like a little white border here. So bringing um, the small and second one into um, view here, cutting it with white cardstock, placing it through the big shot and then having this window frame here. So this window frame um, is going to be the shaker component. So I use two pieces of acetate, one right on the actual um, cardstock panel to stick down. Then I will double layer my foam mount tape here, Couture Creations, um, and put this along the actual edge and border of this actual frame and then in the frame I will place all the actual um, die cuts of the mustache <laughs> um, in different colors and the um, I'll pl put it the product list in my YouTube as well as my um, blog but I use like all lawn fawn um, cardstock and it just turned out perfectly the color combo so what I do here is I stamp the sentiment first and I thought I'd try this other sentiment um, from the same stamp set. I just found it oh, and it was a little bit wonky so I didn't like <laughs> I didn't like it so I flipped it over and stamped it um, which I like that one better but I realized it was too big and you'll see me be a little bit more awkward trying to figure out and I realize it's too big of a sentiment. So in this little die cuts I stick them all in in that various colors of um, I think it's manatee and mermaid and they're all I'll, I'll list it all in my blog and you see me struggle here peeling this backing off because I don't know I was just having a bad nail day I think and I just couldn't get it <laughs> usually I have no trouble at all um, and try not to stick the pieces on the actual backing if you can on the head and, and the foam mount I wanted a little bit more filler so I add some sequins from um, Brittany Lee um, and I'll also link that up to her Etsy store and I place a piece of acetate over that. So it still looks like a window, but it gives me um, the see-through component right to the backing of the actual um, cardstock panel. So, you know, I just, I love this component because you can do it in so many ways. And I just found this way was the easiest way to make a shaker card. And I know my husband, when he gets this card, he's gonna absolutely love it. Um, so I stick the frame on, just making sure it's done straight. And you see me here, this is where I fiddle with the sentiment. I'm like, I'm not really happy with it. I play around for a bit. I get it off camera and I'm like, oh, I just stopped and I had to think about it. So I went through my stash and I found this Waffle Flower Hey Dad one. And it has in there a happy Father's Day. 
So I bring that into um, line here. And because I already stuck all this on, I was so fearful that I was going to stuff this sentiment up. And I was just like, with, I held my breath that whole time. <laughs> Um, and um, yeah, so it was a bit panicky moment there for me. So I used Lawn Fawning to stamp that Happy Father's Day and it picked and didn't fit perfectly along that bottom shaker component. I was so happy about that. Okay, so I bring in this, uh, I use the same paper pad and uh, the same grey cardstock that I cut out with the moustache, moustache, whatever, and I put it on the side. It's just been my thing lately of putting this insert in the actual inside of the card and I just love that finished look to both the outside and inside and sticking to the theme. So I just chop the bottom part of that hanging the overhang of that paper and I put a little mustache in the center there and I thought it would look really cute and then because you can see through the card and I didn't fill it too much of the shaker component I wanted to stick down three of the bigger mustaches of the dies and um, place it in the center there which I thought was really cool um, so I fill around with you know where I'm gonna put it where I'm gonna have it um, and I just put it in there all three together so using my favorite um, mono adhesive it's my adhesive of choice of the liquids I'm going to order some more of the liquids of other brands and fiddle around with them soon um, I just sometimes it's when you got a good thing going on you just don't want to change it and I'm a creature of habit so Anyway, beside the point, I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle, just a little bit. This is clear. I know my husband's not super keen on like you know glitter. If I put glitter, he I don't, he, he wouldn't have accepted the cut because if he found glitter and he found it on his face later on, he'd just be like, "What is going on?" So no glitter, but there's shimmer. So he can't be angry at that. <laughs> All right, so just a little bit of shimmer, um, just to give it that little bit of pizzazz. I just couldn't help myself, and I know he'll be fine with that. Um, and there's the overall card. Isn't it great? I love shaker cards. And um, here's that mustache die. I thought I'd lost it, and then I found it. You know, I had to clean up my craft room to find it. But overall, here's the card. I hope you enjoyed today's card creation um, and you take away some tips. Here's the other one that I made that I showed at the beginning of the video as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.